<sighs> man oh man, I really ought to wake up earlier so I can get these videos cranked out, at least during the afternoon. Unfortunately, I didn't this morning, so here I am working on this card review at about quarter to 6 p.m. Well, at least I'm doing it. Anyway, uh, I was dueling someone I know earlier over YBD. He's more or less a beginner, so naturally we ran into our fair share of snags. Although one card in particular gave us a lot more trouble than it should have. And as a result, I was inspired to do the review on it today. And the card in question is Magical Dimension. Old classic Yugi card. Fun but needlessly complicated for what it is. Well, okay, it's not really all that complicated, but people make it complicated by not understanding what it does. So, let's go over this bit by bit <clears throat> to make sure everyone is on the same page. The first line of text in Magical Dimension reads, Activate only while you control a spellcaster type monster. This is an activation condition required to use Magical Dimension. It's only that, an activation condition. This condition does not have to be met when Magical Dimension resolves, only when you activate it. So chaining Book of Moon or something isn't going to stop Magical Dimension from resolving properly. Got it? Okay, moving on. <clears throat> Tribute one monster and special summon one spellcaster type monster from your hand. These are two simultaneous events. That is to say, tributing and summoning occur at the same time. Although for the sake of ease, we as players do one followed by the other. Even though it's not proper. You can tribute any one monster, even one that is not a spellcaster. Do keep that in mind, to special summon the spellcaster from your hand. Also, this is the effect of Magical Dimension. There is no cost involved, so if Magical Dimension is somehow negated, there's no tributing and no summoning. Okay. <clears throat> We're all good so far? And now the last part. Then, you can destroy one monster on the field. This is a separate effect than that of the uh, that you have the option of performing after the tribute and summon are executed. Because this occurs at resolution, Stardust Dragon and friends cannot negate it because the destruction is not guaranteed. Furthermore, if this effect is used, the last event was not a tribute and summon occurring, so stuff like Bottomless Trap Hole and Fortune Lady Light cannot be activated, as they have missed their window of opportunity to be activated, and you cannot activate effects while others are resolving. Alright, so... Hopefully, we're all good so far. Um... With those details out of the way, let's get into some applications, shall we? Magical Dimension is a quick play spell card, so you can use it at any time during your own turn, <coughs> directly from your hand even, so long as it's not the damage step, because Magical Dimension cannot be activated during the damage step. And this leads to a lot of potentially crazy plays. For example, you could, um, say, tribute off Fortune Lady Light for Fortune Lady Dark. Elect not to destroy a monster, so you get to claim Fortune Lady Light's effect. Pull out Fortune Lady Water, for example. Um, draw two cards. Run over something in battle with Fortune Lady Dark. Revive Fortune Lady Fire to blow up something else. Really, really fun. Fortune Ladies can definitely abuse this card. Although, I don't personally like Magical Dimension because it's inherently a minus one if you destroy, even if you do destroy something, 
and it's moving a monster from your hand to the field which means you're committing more and not really doing more if you if you can see what I'm getting at here um since it's a quick play spell though you can activate magical dimension during your opponent's turn as well as a defensive play for example you could um I don't know protect your Um, well, yeah, protect a small fortune lady from getting hit, replace it with a big one. Something. Uh, what you do is really up to you, because it's a fairly open-ended card. Um, I actually did used to use this, because I ran spellcasters before I got back into the game. Of course, I was always playing Pete and the Dark Clown wrong. Ugh. Pete and misses the timing, guys, if you blow up a monster and tributed it. Also, not to confuse anybody, but the TCG text for Magical Dimension is incorrect, and the Tribute and Summon are not actually simultaneous, but since... <clears throat> We have official rulings and text stating that the Tribute and Summon are simultaneous. We have to play it as if they are until a reversal is issued. So for now, you can Tribute your Fortune Lady Light for your Fortune Lady Dark, not blow up a monster, and then summon a Fortune Lady from the deck. For now. <laughs> You won't be able to in the future if they ever get around to fixing this thing. Um, well, I guess that just about covers everything, so uh, good luck with this card if you feel like using it. I personally wouldn't, simply because it's fairly complicated and, well, doesn't do a whole lot unless you actually win the game with it. But hey, whatever floats your boat.